Kenny, it was a vital victory over Clyde last Sunday. Just how much of a relief was it to pick up three points? Well, a very important uh, result. Um, performance, I mean, we, we know we can play better, but I think it was there for everyone to see on, on Sunday that um, it meant a lot to us at the final whistle. You know, very nervous performance, I felt, and a game where I thought we should have made it a little bit easier, particularly when you got the man ordered off, but it never works out that way. And we can experience the last game at Broadwood with the same scenario and had the, the opposite effect. So I'm delighted uh, to get the three points. And it, it just closes the division up a little bit and it gets us closer contact within uh, Clyde and Morton. There was major changes, obviously, in terms of personnel and, and formation and, and tactics last Sunday. Uh, was that something you'd been thinking a lot about, or did you feel, given your performances against Clyde, it was a necessity? Well, I, th- I think it was, it was a necessity, really. You know, I think when you analyse the, the four games that we've had from uh, you know, from last season, even and, and this season, the playoffs and the two league games that we've played against Clyde, we, we haven't performed particularly well. You know, apart maybe for the first half at Broadwood, so. You look at all sorts of things that you can, you change it, and uh, certainly you look at the personnel, you look at the shape of the team, and I felt that, uh, particularly after coming off the back of three disappointing performances and results, uh, there was a need to, to try and freshen things up, and that's, that, that's the outlook I had on it. You've uh, come to the end of two important games, you've now got another three with Ross County, followed by Livingston and then Morton away. Just how important are these games coming up to, to maybe try and get off the bottom as soon as possible? Well, we have an opportunity on, on, on Saturday to, to do that. You know, if we, if we can come away with a, a positive result at Dingwall, um, we do have a chance to, to move to second bottom. And although that's one small step, it would certainly psychologically uh, involve the rest of the teams maybe looking over their shoulder. Uh, I know that Clyde and Morton both have a game in hand, which they'll play next Tuesday. Uh, so certainly we're, we're targeting the team directly above us. And you know, if we can do that and, and and, and try and come down from Dingle with a positive result and boosted with the fact that we've got three points in the bag against Clyde um, you know it, it, it can happen you know but the players are certainly they've got a determination about them and a, a, 11 games to go I did say prior to Clyde we needed to win a minimum six I now think we all need to win another five to, to give ourselves a chance and uh, to get that 40, 41 point 42 points maybe uh, and that might, might make us okay there's been much discussion regarding the Joe Cardle and Stephen McDougall situation. Uh, what's been their reaction to training and training this week? And are things beginning to settle back down to normal? Yeah, they're back to normal fairly quickly. You know, we had a chat with, with, with both players last Wednesday um, and understood exactly where I'm coming from. You know, I think the whole situation should have been handled better. Um, but it's, it's done now, I and mean, we'll move on because I think that there's been a lot said about it. And the two players have been. I've been uh, great in training, you know, and, and, and understand fully. Still focused that uh, there's no, nobody ever, from, from certainly from my point of view, that will mean they'll never play for Airdrie again. I think they're two important players for us, but certainly on the basis of what we have seen on Sunday, there, uh, the lads who came in certainly um, did well enough for me to, to have, a, have, a, have a think about the, the team selection for for Saturday at Dingwall. But uh, they've, they've trained great, you know, and, and Stephen and Joe will, will certainly bear my thoughts between now and the end of the season. Are you worried about any potential negative reaction towards the players if they play in an Airdrie shirt again? No, no certainly not for, for his teammates. I, mean, I think they understand the, the, the ruling in regards to pre-contracts, you know, and it, it happens. But I just think that this, I mean, you know, about the situation with Stephen McEwen last season, the party thistle, and, you know, I think if, if, if the club are aware of what's going on, uh, you know, I, I think we, we, we're fine with that one. You know, it's, we certainly it's, both players are trying to look after themselves in regards to next season. We don't know uh, a bit of indecision if we're, if we're, you know, what division we are going to be in, and we'll always be faced with this. The, the difficult thing is we've never stood in anyone's way in regards to moving on and moving up a division or, or, or trying to better themselves financially. And, uh, and both players have, have done that, you know, so they're, they're well within their rights to do it. But I just felt it should have been handled better for, for, for a few people. Looking at the league table and looking at your squad in general, do you still believe you've got enough? What you've got what it takes to survive in the first division this season? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I think these players they, they do have their, their, their negatives and the positives, you know. And I think sat on Sunday they were very nervous on Sunday, and you know that was coming through from the from the sidelines, not only the dug, dugout, but you know for the for the for the supporters, and they were a bit anxious. You know, that's probably the best word to describe it. And you know, I think the most important thing we take out of Sunday was the three points and the victory. The clean sheet also. Um, uh, certainly, for us, I, I, I've constantly been looking at bringing people in and loan, but I mean, it's not always easy. I mean, I think the, the, the good players are all snapped up, you know, pre-season. There's a lot of work done with teams uh, um, in the months of May. Uh, you know, there's Dunfermline making making inroads now for, for next season. You know, and I think that certainly 
it's, it's, it's a problem that we do have that we would like to tie up our, our players we'll have got, we've got up two or three that are tied up uh, for next season but certainly it's a uh, to try and build a side we, we, we feel every season that we're in the, the position for breaking up a squad you know and we, we can't stop players trying to better themselves but yeah, I think these, these group of players here are, are, have got a uh, determination about them and I think they're all desperate to be involved between now and the end of the season because after all it's everybody's livelihoods are at stake and you know and if we can turn in a few more uh, results like we did on Sunday not performances uh, I'm sure we'll be okay but you're, you're as I say always looking and if there's anyone out there that can improve us um, we'll certainly make it our job to try and bring them on board Finally Kenny it's Ross County away this weekend two disappointing results against them in the league although you did beat them in the Challenge Cup you're without the suspended Kevin McDonald what's your thoughts on the trip and your team selection? Well we're, we're forced into that, that change as you mentioned with Kevin uh, not being available um, we could have done without that because I thought I was kind of catch 22 on Sunday there whether to play Kevin or not although he was available knowing that he was going to be missing this, this Saturday but yeah, yeah right, there's the two league games I don't think we've, we've, uh, we've caused our own downfall I, think I felt for the first goal up in Dingwall and when Mark Smith redirected across for an own goal, and that didn't help matters. But the two cup ties that were played up there, we managed to come out on top, albeit after extra time on both. Uh, the one in the Challenge Cup final, obviously. Um, but they're a decent side. I watched them on Saturday at Dunfermline, and uh, you know we'll have to have a look and see who comes in for the for the, the replacement for Kevin McDonald. But you know, you know, if we can get ourselves organised and be difficult to beat, you never know what can happen at the other end of the park. But. There's certainly a, t- a squad who, or a team who, who can cause you problems, like anybody in this division. You know, they all can cause you problems if you're not at it. Excellent. Thanks, Kenny. Okay, cool.